Oh, disability was in early. I got some shopping to do. couple stops. I didn't bring a bike lock. Show you my safety feature. It's kind of a safety feature. Check my voltage at 38.2 volts. And I unplugged the speed. Lead acid batteries, you're not gonna grab this thing and run away with it. And we're off. Just gonna throw my bag in here. Oh. It's almost October and I just finally bought a pair of sunglasses.
think I look stupid, so I didn't really care. to go straight home and I often have friends hanging out in the park but it's ODSP check day so I'd imagine they're shopping for food They sell cactus fruits at a grocery store just down here. I'm tempted to go get one. They're not the greatest thing, but I, I like them. Oh, this table has shade. I'm gonna use it. Oh, look what I just found. Oh, it's broken. I was gonna say I could use that. But it's pretty flimsy. So I'm gonna just stop in here to have a green break. And I got some snacks. I've always loved dried fruit. And I don't know if I like the freeze dried mangoes. But uh, the strawberries are awesome. I had them for the first time like last month. It's like crunchy little candies that are like full of flavor. ideas. I don't mind doing ride videos, but I was, I'm kind of trying to avoid just riding for a video like I did today. 
I got, uh, I had to order some hot glue and a new hot glue gun. But I got some building videos coming up. I found uh, four used laptop batteries. And instead of making that weird capacitor battery for charging my phone and everything, I realized I already have the nickel strip and the spot welder and Kathon tape and all that fish paper, like everything. I'm just gonna build a little 12 volt battery. And make YouTube its two million other spot weld battery cell video. There's never too many of those. No, initially, when I started YouTube, I thought I was going to build a solar camper. I keep changing my mind, and then I blew half my budget building a friend's little solar bike setup, which I need to actually... I feel like I gotta make it up to him, because it's not... It wasn't as good as I thought it would be. Like, it works, but he definitely needs some 12 volt batteries. Like those awesome ones that I'll no longer need next summer. And then he's better than I currently am right now after a couple of those batteries. I gave him two 12 volt batteries that turned out to be completely freaking dead. They are so dead, they, they don't even charge. You watch the solar charger roll up to 14 volts really fast, but that means the battery didn't like the amps and disconnected. And they weren't absorbing the power, so it just goes right up to 14 and tells you the charged one or not. But you know, as soon as you unplug the solar panel, it goes back down to 10. If they were any good, they would have stayed above 13. Oh, I think I can get up this hill. It's actually a beast, and I'm holding a ball. Fifth gear. Let's get in a third gear. Oh, if I go on an angle, I can make it. And get some speed up and try this deeper spot. Wow, I almost catwalked it. Now I'm just randomly exploring. Oh, I didn't know there was a baseball diamond there. That's a good one, too. Yeah, this one's real nice and maintained. There's like two or three nice baseball diamonds just over that way, but not this nice. Probably doesn't pick up very well, but no dogs allowed on sports field. That's always good. Is that? Never heard that noise. Ooh, interesting. Well, for a second I thought I lost my backpack, but it's on my back. Should probably put this on and strap it down. would be smart and in, what I was hearing was my strap in the wheel it's a good thing my wheels aren't too cheap they're super cheap but they survived that check my spoke tension 
That's the thing with really cheap rims. Is it that they're really, really cheap? Or are they just made high maintenance for super lightweight? Maybe that's what you want. You just gotta keep checking your spoke tension. Keep them balanced and trued up. Seen a guy today at the store in a mobility scooter and he had a trailer hitch on the back and I realized how easily I can actually put the other end of a ball hitch on the, this trailer and I was thinking I'm building a whole new trailer I'm going to have different batteries I was tempted to wait for the guy to come back and ask if he wanted my solar trailer Old guy in a mobility scooter with a trailer hitch would love this, wouldn't he? Oh, I don't know what the hell I'm doing. I looked at me, so I looked over my shoulder. And yeah, he thought I was gonna stop. I'm actually hoping I'm not, uh, what would you call it, pretending to record? I didn't check my battery. I didn't double check to see if it's still running when I left. But, I don't know. I think I'm just heading home. Well, we got a new C-17 taking off. Depending on how loaded up it is, it's either loud or quiet. They are like well overpowered though. When it's not overpowered, or when it's not really heavy, I'd imagine they could take off with like 50% throttle.
Definitely like today. I just took a sip of uh, brisk while I was right beside the sewage treatment. I think I'm gonna dump the rest out and probably never drink another brisk again. That was just the worst timing. Just as I was taking a gulp, I could smell it. He's like, oh. Oh, lost my lid. That C-17 just took off. It's already like 3,000 feet up and have it's already made a 90 degree turn. Oh, it's almost over my head already. That is nuts. It's like right here. And the runway is like 200 yards over there. I mean, from the direction I'm facing, the runway is about like that, I think. But still, that's... That's a sharp turn. Okay, I'm gonna end the video. So, uh, if you enjoy the rides and the builds, like, subscribe, comment, all that funny stuff, and I'll see you in the next one.